Hi guys! Welcome back to another video. Today, we will tackle about direct variation. So, without further ado, let's proceed. What is direct variation? Direct variation is a relationship between two variables in which one is a constant multiple of the other. In particular, when one variable changes, the other changes in proportion to the first. If B is directly proportional to A, the equation is of the form B is equals to KA, where K is a constant. Equation is Y is equals to 4X. It says here that if one variable changes, the other changes in proportion to the first. So it means, when one variable increases, the other variable increases in proportion to the first. Now, what is the equation for direct variation? The equation for direct variation is y is equals to kx, where k is the constant of variation. So here are examples of direct variation. First, y varies directly to x. It is written as y is equals to kx. Second, v varies directly to the square of v. It is expressed as v is equals to kb squared. Third, g is directly proportional to O. It is shown as g is equals to ko. Fourth, r is directly proportional to i. It is displayed as r is equals to ki. So these are only some of the examples of direct variation. Now, let's proceed to problems involving direct variation and how to solve them. Problem number 1. If y varies directly to x and y is equals to 10 when x is equals to 5, what is the value of x when y is equals to 30? First, of course, we need to write the equation. We need to translate it in order to find x. So, the equation is y is equals to kx. Next, we need to find k or the constant of variation. How do we find the constant of variation? In order to find k, we need to substitute the first values to the equation y is equals to kx. So our first values are y is equals to 10 and x is equals to 5. The equation will be 10 is equals to k times 5. Now, the equation is 10 is equals to 5k. We need to eliminate 5 from 5k. How do we do that? We divide both sides by 5. Now, our k is equals to 2. Lastly, we need to substitute the value of k and our final values to y is equals to kx to find the value of x. So, the value of y is 30 and the value of our constant is 2. We substituted the values and got 30 is equals to 2 times x. Now it became 30 is equals to 2x, but it is not done there. We need to divide both sides by 2 to eliminate 2 from 2x. Now, our x is equals to 15. If y varies directly to x and y is equals to 10 when x is equals to 5, what is the value of x when y is equals to 30? The value of x is 15 when y is equals to 30. Did you remember what I said earlier? When the other variable increases, the other increases in proportion to the first. The values of y x increase and the values of y increase in proportion to x. So we will proceed to another problem. Problem number 2. If r is directly proportional to the cube of s and r is equals to 8 when s is equals to 4, what is the value of r when s is equals to 10? Now first, of course, we are going to write the equation. So the equation is written as r is equals to k s cubed. Next, we get the first values, then, then, subs, then substitute it to the equation to find the value of k. So now, the equation is 8 is equals to k times 4 cubed. Now we need to simplify 4 cubed. 4 cubed is equals to 64. So our equation now is 8 is equals to k times 64. We need to multiply 64 and k, so 64 times k is k, is 64k. Now, we eliminate 64 from 64k. 
we will divide both sides by 64 so we can eliminate it. The value of k is 1 8 because it is a simplified form of 8 over 64. In finding the value of r, we will just do what we did earlier, get the final values and the values of k, then substitute them to r is equals to ks cubed. Now we have r is equals to 1 8 times 10 cubed. We will simplify the equation, so we have now r is equals to 1 8 times 1000. 1 8 times 1000 is equals to 125. And boom! That's the value of your r. If r is directly proportional to the cube of s and r is equals to 8 when s is equals to 4, what is the value of r when s is equals to 10? The value of r is 125 when s is equals to 10. You see the difference? When the value of r increases, the value of s increases too but in proportion to r. Hope you guys had fun watching this educational video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, then share this to your friends. Bye!